Good morning. Another week passes us by. It, it's Karambi Davis from Karambi Realty International. And today we're going to be um, looking at a lot of statistics on the screen. And I will do an overview. And then just to let you know, if you reach out and ask me for a copy of this report, I can send it to you. Um, but before we go, there's some, you know, something that we did in our um, team meeting this week, which was interesting is I, you know, everyone's going through a lot of controversy right now. The fact that states locked down for another two weeks, um, there doesn't seem any plans for opening up businesses that every, all the small businesses want to see right now. And, you know, to bring that more to the light of, I know people have to learn to accept the situation, um, maybe put their energy elsewhere. And one of the questions I asked our team was, you know, what's something that you've discovered about yourself in the last week since we last met that you wanted to share? And interestingly enough, um, one of our agents said she, you know, she used to travel, she would work 24 seven and then travel. So she had to get used to not traveling, of course. And she said, I'm learning that once my work's done, it's okay to take some time off. Another agent said, it's okay for me to take a weekend off as she used to work seven days a week and then go traveling. So, you know, they're looking at positives. Another um, agent mentioned something she's learned about herself is she's really into helping people accomplish their goals. It's not about selling real estate, but it's really finding out what people's goals are right now. Another agent said she's learning to be her own cheerleader. You know, we're taught uh, humility and respect, but in the same respect, she's learning to give herself a pat on the shoulder for the um, small um, things she does of a day that um, contribute to her family or her clients. And then also one of our other agents who's actually just starting in the business, in the sales business, she's saying it's she's, it, she's being okay and she's accepting that she's outside her comfort zone. So I'm sure we're all being pushed outside our comfort zones right now. And I, I thought that was a very good thing to acknowledge. It's okay to be in our comfort zone. And I saw a saying here this morning, it said, the only journey worthwhile is finding yourself. Um, and then take that time to create yourself into the person you wanna be, become. So this is a good time to be looking at these things. Uh, before we go to the luxury sales, I just wanted to give an overview of how small our inventory is right now. Currently on Oahu, there's only 625 homes. Um, considering there's um, 6,000 realtors, that's not a lot of homes for realtors here on the state to sell. Uh, last year, there was about 1,100 um, homes at this time of the year. And if I break that down into neighborhoods, um, in the area two, which would be Makiki and Manoa, basically there's 200 and um, there's only actually 57 homes on the market. And then in the Diamond Head, Kahala, Wailaiki, Hawaii Kai, and that stretch of East Oahu in area three, there's 220 homes. But again, if you broke that up into price ranges, you would find that very limited as well. One of our agents right now has a wonderful buyer, um, actually a, an American living overseas, wanting to buy back in Hawaii in the over $3 million price range. And right now there's only two houses in Kahala on the market. Um, North Shore, uh, area six, there's only 29 homes on the market right now. Um, the Leewood Coast, there's only 33 homes on the market right now. And then Pearl Harbor, Iaia, Mililani, up in that area, only 93 homes on the market. So you can see our inventory is very small. Um, now let's go to the luxury stats. I'm just gonna share the um, slides with you here. And please do remember that I can send these to you because it's a lot of information here. So this was a wonderful slideshow that uh, Title Guarantee had put together. Um, they're one of our um, most successful escrow companies here on the island. And we're fortunate that we have an excellent um, escrow officer we work with at Title Guarantee. We know he can uh, deal with any title issues or um, you know questions and he's right there. He returns our calls within seconds of us leaving messages, which is a, a real must for me in this day and age. But if we go to all price points here, and if you look here, you've basically got homes over $6 million in the dark blue, 
and homes in the three million plus range in the um, middle blue. If you note, 2018, which is here, has the most um, six million plus homes, 48 homes in 2018, and to date, um, in quarter one and quarter two, there's 35 homes. I do want to make a comment as we go through this. I believe quarter three, you'll see these numbers come up a lot. We had a lot more activity in quarter three. So it'll be really interesting. But right now we just have data for quarter one and quarter two. The other um, item I wanted to show here is in 2017, we had the most sales in the uh, 6 million and under price range. If we go to the map for the 10 million plus sales, um, you know, we uh, this year we had um, 1775, the modern hotel sell for 36 million. This is on the left hand side here. And of course, we talked about this home in Kailua for 18.7 million on the beach. And then our big condo sales in Hokua, Park Lane, uh, Park Lane, a couple of more in Park Lane, um, you know, they were getting 30, actually 10 million, 13 million plus. And also there was a roadway um, multiple lot sale in Manoa for a little under $12 million. That is on Oahu. And then we've got um, on the Big Island, if we come down here on the Big Island, um, you'll find that North Kona and South Kona had substantially large sales. And interestingly enough, the Big Island does have more luxury sales above 6 million than all other islands right now. I'll just make a note of that. That is shown in later slides here. If we look at the luxury, um, top luxury neighborhoods of 3 million plus, what you'll see here is like I mentioned, South and North Kona over the left um, have the strongest sales to date. And on Oahu, if we go in and re we review the neighborhoods, you'll find um, the number one volume is uh, Kailua, uh, 40 million um, in, in sales. However, remember one sale there alone was a little $18 million oceanfront home. And there was another home, of course, for a little under 11 million. Um, so really there's another, that probably is about three or four house, well, it says six houses here, $40 million. So for the $10 million, there was probably three houses in the 3 million plus range there. Uh, Wailai Kahala, um, again, six sales, um, $30 million. Um, but if we add on Diamond Head, because oftentimes people will look Diamond Head or Kahala, there was a total of 50 million volume in quarter one, quarter two for uh, luxury properties. Um, Waikiki, um, for the 6 million plus um, was the first. Um, 36 million and of course that was the modern um, it was a hotel um, I'm sure they'll be turning those into condominiums um, and we'll find out more about that sale later. Uh, the second highest sale is the Ala Moana area we look down here and there of course those big, um, big luxury condos at Hokua, Wailea, I'm uh, sorry Hokua and Waiea um, condos. And Kahala Diamond Head down here, you've got the ocean front, um, you've probably got the ocean front condos here also. Top projects for the year so far, quarter one, quarter two, were not surprising. If we look here, we've got um, 1118 Ala Moana, Waiea, we've got Park Lane, Hokua. We'll see, we'll see those sales continue to get strong as we um, lift out, um, we allow people to come back into our community here as tourists, and I'm sure they'll be going there to visit the new projects down in the Howard Hughes, the Kaka'ako and Alamoana area. Cash purchases, very interestingly enough, um, if you look here, quarter two, 66% um, of our luxury uh, property purchases are cash. Uh, compared to quarter one, 60%. And then if you look here, the cash um, does, it, it's a little less than last year just because the volume is down. Cash versus last year, if we go island by island, we have the big island, 69% uh, cash year to date. It is less than 8% versus last year just because of the volume. 
and that is for the um, price points of 6 million or price points 50%. So a lot of our buyers buying off island are definitely cash purchases, as you'll find in Kauai, um, the luxury 50% cash and um, all price points 38%. I'll just take you through the islands. Maui, 70% cash um, majority and all price points 35%. Um, you, I believe you'll find probably quarter three people are taking advantage of possibly some of the interest rates. Again, uh, just this week, I heard of a jumbo mortgage for 2.85%, which is was unheard of. National historical average price. You know, sometimes we forget living in Hawaii, our prices are so high. Our average price of a home, I believe, is about 839 right now. In quarter two, the average price nationally was 313,200. This is an interesting slide. Uh, you know, where do our buyers come from? And oftentimes people think it's all about the international market. And I, I really enjoy this graph. I've had this graph from Title Guarantee for the past 10 years, and this really says it all. But substantially enough, just to let you all know, the foreign sales are down 52.5% and US sales, US sales, uh, sales from buyers from the mainland are down 23.8%. And if we just go to 2020, um, the top foreign buyers are from Japan, Canada and Korea, which usually we see that each year. But as you can see, Japan, there's a 71% um, decrease, Canada. So all the buyers from these uh, countries has decreased, uh, of course, because we haven't been able to open our tourism. The top states by number of sales is um, Hawaii. So local buyers are still very strong here. Um, and we do a lot to market to our local market, our mainland market and our international market. So California, Washington, New Jersey. So it goes, um, you can see the top 10 states here. Again, if you'd like a copy of these uh, statistics, I'm most welcome forward to your copy. Uh, so you can study this information. Um, then this slide actually takes it by neighborhood. And again, that gives you some more information, you know, if you live in a particular neighborhood. Luxury market statewide, as you can see, 3 million plus. Our sales are at 129 sales. We are down um, quarter one, quarter two, but I, as I say, quarter three, when we get these stat statistics again in about the next four months, you'll see these change uh, quite a lot. Coconut wireless commentary, what's going on in the rest of the country? Country We're at this island in the middle of the Pacific and um, this was a nice little recap of what's going on. Seattle, where we have a lot of people who buy here in Seattle right now, um, tech companies, people working at home, uh, their market's going crazy. Um, people are leaving Seattle though too, but the 6 million plus market's hot right now. Um, you'll find that that market will continue to be hot with the tech industry so strong, of course. And in the uh, East Bay area and San Francisco area, um, again, you'll see people moving out because of the cost of living. But if you're in that tech industry, you'll see the market driven up by uh, these buyers, especially since they'll be working home from more. And they made a note here, 35 to 45% of the buyers there are cash buyers. So not surprising, San Francisco is still doing well. Um, and I just, I, my heart pours out to everyone there in California right now with the fires, of course. And um, let's say our prayers and, um, you know, if we can reach out and put a phone call out to anyone who needs, um, you know, just to hear some encouragement um, would be great. Anyway, so I, I thank you for hearing these statistics today. And we're gonna go to Mary Ann's photos now. And what she um, really impressed on is, you know, ho hopefully we'll be opening up October 1st to our um, tourism. Let's keep our fingers crossed, everyone. But again, everyone's getting out there enjoying our beaches, why they come to Hawaii. And uh, just wanted to share that with you again this morning. This is why we live, aloha, and we live here. And we look forward to these beaches being full again. I think we took it for granted. We used to, as a local, we used to complain about the beaches being so crowded, but I think local people are ready for the beaches to be crowded again and for our um, 
economy to start picking up. I wish you all well, have a wonderful weekend and until next week, aloha.